Saint Nicholas of Tolentino, known as the patron of holy souls, was an Italian saint and mystic. The Roman Catholic Church commemorates his feast day every September 10. Born in 1246 in Sant Angelo, Italy, Nicholas was said to be named after Saint Nicholas of Myra, whose shrine his parents prayed to have a child. A studious, kind, and gentle youth, Nicholas became an Augustinian novice and was a student of the Blessed Angelus de Scarpetti at the age of 16. When he was 18, he became a friar and served at the monasteries in Ricanati and Maserata. Nicholas was ordained a priest in 1270 at the age of 25. Soon, he became known for his preaching and teachings. Tradition suggests that in 1274, Nicholas had visions of angels while reciting to Tolentino. He took this as a sign to move to that city where he lived the rest of his life. Nicholas worked to counteract the decline of morality and religion, which came with the development of city life in the late 13th century. On account of his kind and gentle manner, his superiors entrusted him with the daily feeding of the poor at the monastery gates, but at times, he was so free with the friary's provisions, that the procurator begged the superior to check his generosity. Nicholas also worked as a peacemaker in a city torn by strife between the Guelphs and Ghibellines who, in the conflict for control of Italy, supported the Pope and the Holy Roman Emperor respectively. He ministered to his flock, helped the poor, and visited prisoners. When working wonders or healing people, he always asked those he helped to say nothing of this, explaining that he was just God's instrument. Once when Nicholas was too weak after a long fast, he received a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Augustine, who told him to eat some bread marked with a cross and dipped in water. Upon doing so he was immediately stronger. He started distributing these rolls to the ailing, while praying to Mary, often curing the sufferers. This is the origin of the Augustinian custom of blessing and distributing Saint Nicholas bread. During his life, Nicholas is said to have received a number of visions, including images of purgatory, which friends ascribed to his lengthy fasts. Prayer for the souls in purgatory was the outstanding characteristic of his spirituality. Because of this, Nicholas was proclaimed patron of the souls in purgatory in 1884 by Pope Leo XIII. Towards the end of his life, he became ill, suffering greatly, but still continued the mortifications that had been part of his holy life. Nicholas died on September 10, 1305. He was canonized by Pope Eugene IV in 1446. He was the first Augustinian to be canonized. At his canonization, Nicholas was credited with 300 miracles, including three resurrections. His relics were rediscovered in 1926 at Tolentino. His remains are preserved at the Shrine of St. Nicholas in the Basilica di San Nicola di A. Tolentino in the city of Tolentino, province of Maserata in Marche, Italy. St. Nicholas of Tolentino is particularly invoked as an advocate for the souls in purgatory, especially during Lent and the month of November. In many Augustinian churches, there are weekly devotions to St. Nicholas on behalf of the suffering souls. November 2nd, all Souls Day, holds special significance for the devotees of St. Nicholas of Tolentino. A number of churches and oratories are dedicated to him, including San Nicolo di A. Tolentino in Venice, San Nicola di A. Tolentino Ali Orti Celestiani in Rome, St. Nicholas of Tolentino in the Bronx, New York City, and St. Nicholas of Tolentino in Bristol, UK. There are also a number of churches named after St. Nicholas in the Philippines, such as the 16th century church of San Nicolas de Tolentino in Banton, Romblon, a 440-year-old Augustinian church founded in 1575 located in the heart of Maccabee, Pampanga, the San Nicolas de Tolentino parish church in Cebu City, the San Nicolas de Tolentino parish church in Dimial, Bohol, the St. Nicholas of Tolentino Parish Cathedral in Cabanatuan, Nueva Etzia, and the 16th century church which was later elevated to the status of minor basilica in Sinit, Ilocos. 
In Ireland, Augustinian churches and friaries historically marked his feast day with a ceremony distributing bread, sometimes with his likeness on the loaves. This practice was most strongly related to churches in County Waterford. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.